In this video, I'm going to explain how you can create dynamic open graph images for your Blocker website using Next.js version 13. I also cover how you can add custom fonts and SVG images. Alright, so we start with a clean installation of Next.js version 13. And the first thing we're going to do is we add a new API route called og.tsx. So I'm going to the API folder and create a new file og.tsx. And now we use some code snippet to create the actual API route. So this uses the versal og package. So in order to use this, we add the package by using yarn at at versal og. And once we have the package installed, we can use it within our project. So let's start the dev server in the background again and have a look at this code. So we're importing the next API request. Um, this is the request object we receive on our API route. And we are going to use that later on. We also enable the experimental edge runtime. And as a result, we return an image response. And this image response takes two parameters. The first one is JSX. And the second one is a configuration for our image response. So if we go to our application at slash API slash OG, we get an image response of 1200 by 600 pixels. And that's what we configured down here. This looks kind of boring at the moment. Maybe we want to add some border. So let's add border of 25 pixels, solid, and the color is going to be 0, 8, so something in the blue colors. Save this and reload the page. And indeed, we now have a 25 pixel border for our image. But maybe we also want to use a custom font. We already have defined the font family Montserrat. But this looks like the default font, so something is not working properly right now. And the problem is you just have the browser related fonts by default, so we have to import this on somehow. Therefore, I already have downloaded uh, Montserrat uh, True Font from Google Fonts, and I'm going to add this to application. So I'm just pasting this into my public folder, and then I'm going to my OG route and define a loader for my font. And therefore I'm using a new function called load font. And this is going to fetch our font from our local folder. Therefore, so to use this font, I have to define the relative path in my public folder. Therefore, I'm going two directories up. So I'm in the root directory. And then I'm going to public slash Montserrat slash extrabold.ttf. And then I'm also returning this as an array buffer. So I take my response and convert it to an array buffer. All right, and in order to use this font, we also have to define it on runtime. So let's go in here and say const serrat equals load font. And since it's an asynchronous function, we also have to wait it. And 
then down here in our configuration we can define fonts. So let's add fonts. Fonts is a list and it takes objects. Um, so first I'm defining the name of the font. This is corresponding to the font family. So I'm using Montserrat. Then I need some data and this data is going to be our Montserrat variable. And I'm adding some metadata like style. Uh, so this is normal style and a weight. This weight equals 800. And if I now load this, it's going to complain because it can't resolve the URL. So in order to resolve the URL, we have to define it properly. So let's create a new URL and also add the base parameter import.meter.url and if we now reload this we have our font imported and we can use it. Alright, maybe we also want to use some images therefore I'm adding an SVG image. So I have prepared some image up front and I'm going to insert it right here. And if I now reload my image, I now have my SVG within my image response. But the problem is this is static content. So at the moment we just statically return hello world. Maybe we want to parameterize this as well. So in order to do so, let's go up here and let's say const search params equals new URL request.url. So the search parameters is going to um, be an object of all the parameters within our URL. But as you can see, it's going to complain because the request.url might be undefined. So I'm forcing this to be defined and now it's working. In order to extract something from our search parameters, we can simply use const title, for example, equals search params dot get title. And now we can use this title down here. So let's change this for title and if I now reload my image it is empty because we do not have a title parameter yet. So if I add title equals code specialist I now have my title from my parameter. Maybe we also want to adjust the text one bit more. So I'm going to adjust this a bit thing from here and add this here. So this is just going to increase the font size, it's adding some padding, it's also adding a background image and it's going to clip that text on um, our background image. So if we reload this, we now have some gradient text and our image. So this looks convenient for now. Now we also have to add this image to a meter tag within a page. So it's actually going to be resolved and uh, delivered as an open graph image. Therefore we go to our index.tsx and add a new meter tag. The meter tag is going to be property. And the property is going to be OG image. And we also define a content. And the content is going to be the URL for our image. And as the URL, we are going to use this route here. Bring this here. Make sure it's a string. And if I now go to my 
home page. Oh, I don't see nothing because it's just metadata. Therefore, I'm going to Chrome extensions and add a new Chrome extension. This one is called OBMe. And this enables you to look at OG images of your page. So let's add this. And now let's go back here. The and if we reload the page now, we can see that our OG image is defined as expected. If you like this video, please make sure to subscribe and enable notifications to get notified when we publish new videos.